Hi, my name is Avery and I love books and here's my October book haul. Hi there everyone! So today I'm just going to be showing y'all all of the books that I bought or received in October, which is a total of two. <laughs> I ordered one of these on Amazon because I needed it just so badly. And the other one my mother sent to me, which was fan-freaking-tastic because I've been waiting for this book for so long. So let's get into the video. The first book that I bought this month was Queens of Geek by Jen Wild. So this is the book that I bought on Amazon because I needed it so badly because people were all over booktube about this book. They were raving about this book and I just had to pick it up because it just it sparked my interest and I am so happy that I picked up this book because there is one character in this book that is m me. She's me. Like I'm not kidding. She is exactly me different name and has half shaved head but like it's me basically I swear and I will be going into more of my thoughts about this book in my October wrap-up that has been previously put up so if you want to check that out go check that out but I'll just be sharing the synopsis with you so we have two main characters we have Charlie and Taylor as well as their best guy friend Jamie but the perspectives are told from Taylor and Charlie and Charlie is a YouTube star who just got famous basically for being a main character in the zombie movie franchise and she actually just went through a very public celebrity breakup when all of three of her friends end up going to Supercon together this giant basically fandom convention she just wants to forget about it and she hopes that no one brings it up but then she catches the eye of her big time celebrity crush named Alyssa who's a giant YouTube star and it turns out that her crush may not be one-sided at all and then we have Taylor who has had the biggest crush on her best friend Jamie for as long as she can remember since he moved to their school. She has very big social anxiety so she tries to get up enough courage to basically express her feelings towards him and stick up for herself and put herself out there kind of this convention brings out her personality so that was wonderful to read about. I actually ended up giving this book a five out of five stars. I really enjoyed it and if you want to know more about my thoughts just click on over to my wrap up. And the next and last book that I got this month was Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. And yes, it is a sad copy. It's there, you see? His name's right there. He signed there. <laughs> So I have been a giant John Green fan since forever. Um, I read The Fault in Our Stars way back in middle school before the movie came out, before we even heard about there being a movie out. Not to be hipster or anything, but I got everyone hooked on that book at my school. I'm not kidding you. Girls who never, ever, ever read, read this book just because the movie was coming out and I was like, girls, I've been lugging this book around school for literally a month. Where have you been? <laughs> but I am looking forward to reading this so much. I have heard nothing but good things about it. So hopefully it's really, really good. I know nothing about this book, by the way. I'm sorry if I can't give you a synopsis. I just know that I think someone in here has OCD, I think. That's what I've heard. That's all I've heard because I don't want to be spoiled in any way possible. I want to go into this book blind and enjoy this experience all by myself. I am really looking forward to this book and I'm going to read it as soon as possible. <laughs> so there y'all have it. Those are the only books that I got in October. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, if any of you have read any of these books, please let me know down below. I would love to chat with you about them or if you're planning to or if you're planning on buying them soon. I would love to know that as well. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all soon with a new video. Bye.